everybody my name is analytical plum and welcome back to my channel today's video is a bit of a different reaction video it's kind of something i wanted to do for a very very long time just because the bizarreness of this topic is just intrigues me but also scares me but also entertains me the topic we are going to be react oh i'm moving again the topic we are going to be reacting to today is men writing women. It sounds very bizarre, I know, but so are the things they write. <laughs> but before we begin, I would appreciate if you would consider subscribing. I do post twice a week, but don't hold me to that. And if you like my type of content, you like reaction videos, then please do consider liking this video. It helps me out a ton. And without further ado, let's react to some of these Shakespearean pieces of work. We're starting off this first one with an absolute banger. By the way, majority of these quotes and sections were to do with boobs. I don't know what the whole thing about boobs are, but some male authors just write boobs in a very peculiar way. That's the best word I can give you. I will read this out to you. This could be like a, an audible knockoff. <laughs> So this highlighted bit says Milton watched her sleeping, the long red hair, the full lips, the vulnerable exposed neck. Is he a vampire or something? Why is it vulnerable and exposed? Why do you have to say that? I mean, I don't know anything about these books and the general gist or like the genre of the books I'm reacting to. But by the title of Ghosts, I'd assume maybe she's a ghost. Although I don't know, you can't really assume much with these things. Although I think reacting to these without the context is probably much funnier. <laughs> the slim body with the shape of her breasts. Perfectly obvious beneath the thin cotton sheet, the curve of her hip, the long legs, the porcelain white, ice pale skin. You think he's reading off a description of like a furniture or just like a bit of shelf on Ikea. What is... <laughs> I feel like some of the way that women are described in books are just absolutely just, I say again, bizarre. That is the word of the day for this video. It's just bizarre. How did people read this and think, hmm, yes, this is definitely what I want to read today. <laughs> he wondered for a moment whether he could allow himself the luxury of accepting her unspoken and yet obvious offer. And who said chivalry was dead, you know? This is exactly what you want in a man, you know, someone who just knows what you're wanting without you even saying anything. The thing is, right, sometimes authors use this as a moment to insert themselves in books. I've read it quite a lot in certain books where you can tell it's definitely a self-insert. So this concerns me for the well-being of the author. Imagine having a sleepover with this author. You wouldn't want to sleep near him. You'd start dribbling in your sleep or something and he'll take that as an invitation for something else. He'd probably drag you out of bed to try and make you go to football with him. Like You, you, you don't know where his mind is going with this moral of the story is never accept a sleepover invitation from this author avoid him at all costs it's not worth the cookies now we have a bit of a whammy with this one it's, it's quite a bit so this was kindly written by philip k dick and I do think the name is very, very fitting. Amanda Werner laughed her famous laugh. Nearly as imitated as Buster's, Amanda Werner and several other beautiful, elegant, conically breasted foreign ladies from unspecified, vaguely defined countries, plus a few bulic so-called humorists. That's what my essay sounded like when I needed to get the word count up and sound quite smart. <laughs> So I wasn't sure of a few words in this whole bit and one of the ones I searched up was conically, if you think that's how it's pronounced. Yeah, conically literally means in a shape of a cone. Why is that a necessary piece of information that is included in this book? Why do you have to know that ladies have cone-shaped boobs? What, what does that add to the story? I don't know, maybe they end up being the heroine later that saves the day with their cone boobs. You'll just see Katy Perry running along with 
like machine guns coming out of their nips. <laughs> it's so weird. Why not? The girl stepped into the hall, closing the door behind her, arms folded self-consciously before her small high breasts. She faced him eager to understand, or so it appeared to him anyhow. What do you mean? What, what does that even mean? Small high breasts. Is she meant to be He-Man or something? <laughs> I honestly don't know how this gets through. The writer, the editors, the publishers, and they think this is, this is fine, this is normal. I, d I really don't understand. His guest for the last three days have been Amanda Werner. I like her. I could watch her for the rest of my life. She has breasts that smile. Ugh. I think the more I read on, the more just disappointed I get. See, it's new in. New in from scientists. Boobs are actually mood rings. Which direction they face determines the mood of the person who has boobs. <laughs> if, the, if your boob is pointing upwards, it means that person is happy. If it's sideways, it means they're confused. Now, this next one, you can skip if you want. It is a bit of a um, intimate scene, but it's not gonna be the intimate scene that makes you uncomfortable. It's more the uh, wording that's used to describe things that are going on. It makes sense when I read it out to you. I promise you will be traumatized. <laughs> she seemed half drugged, whether by some sephoric in the heaped cushions or merely by the fatigue induced by our walk in the open and the burden of so great a quantity of voluptuous flesh. It's just like you're going to a meat market, isn't it? That's just... Oh, hold on. It sends shivers down my spine. Breasts, each nearly as large as her own head. That poor lady's back, I swear, it's, I feel so bad for her. <laughs> Nearly as big as her own head. I didn't realise I was reading an anime series. What? It's, the only thing I'm kind of picturing is just Mickey Mouse on steroids. You know, with like his ears, but instead of ears, they're just boobs that are the size of his head. I don't know, it's equally as weird to me. Those wide thighs which seem to hold a new hatched chick between them. I'm not gonna lie, when I was researching for this video and I was finding the things to react to, the pages and the works, this made me cry. And I'm not sure whether it was in disbelief, a bit of disappointment, a bit of a humour. I, I don't... It's, it's just, I honestly, I don't know if I'm just I'm thick, but I don't understand what that's supposed to supposed to mean. I have no idea what imagery this is supposed to create. I'm just, what is that supposed to mean? The girl is shaped like a knife. Yet again, another unrealistic beauty standard. I'm so ashamed that I don't look like a knife. I just want to look like a knife. How am I supposed to thrive in society if I can't be used to chop a bit of chicken? You know, I'm just a spork. What a guy, she crowed and got up and sat on his lap and kissed him on the mouth. She really did have the most excellent mouth, as reflected, like a teacup full of hot eels. I can think of nothing better than when I'm trying to relax and having a nice warm cup of tea than to be electrocuted by eels. I don't understand how that's supposed to be good or excellent. It's kind of like a carnival game where it's like when you, you drink a sip of your drink, you don't know whether that will be the time whether you'll be electrocuted by these eels. And I don't know, it just makes me think of a snake. What if you accidentally swallow the snake and it's just like, Ugh. It really does remind me of a game I had where it's like a, you put your finger in the hole if you like got the lowest points and you get zapped and if you get zapped you're out the game it's exactly like that I'm just so confused on how that's supposed to be pleasant some of these men have the weirdest hidden desires and kinks it's just bizarre <laughs> to be fair I do think I have saved the best till last it's just top-notch writing quality the best literature my eyes have ever laid upon obviously I'm not the author here <laughs>
I found myself agreeing and wondered later if my ovaries had made the choice, made the decision for me. They sometimes jiggle when I'm around a, around a man I fancy. I can't even talk anymore. This has just traumatised me. They sometimes jiggle when I'm around a man I fancy. Some people get butterflies in their tummies. I have jiggling ovaries. She's just not like the other girls, you know. She doesn't get like nervous feelings. Her whole body just jitters like she's been poisoned. <laughs> See, that's the thing right another discovery in <laughs> women anatomy the human anatomy ovaries are now tambourines they are a part of an instrument and other organs as well like your heart you know that's a drum now your leg I don't know, that can be just <laughs> drumstick <laughs> it reminds me of well i suppose spidey senses his senses go off when he can detect stuff it's kind of the same except her ovaries jiggle when when she's excited i don't really know maybe i can't <laughs> i am now officially traumatized and i would like to thank the male authors of these scripts these beautiful works of art i've never been so enlightened to read in my life and now i'm gonna go and gouge out my eyeballs and heave in the toilet until i forget that these this past you know half an hour has happened thank you so much for watching this video it is a bit different but i do like to keep this channel as a general reacting channel like i don't want to just stick to a certain type of niche just because i like looking at different things and i think it's kind of cool to switch things up a bit you seem to have liked my other tiktok reactions i have done in the past and so i just want to keep that up where i don't stick with strictly you know tv series and trailer reactions because although they are enjoyable i don't want my content to be you know just the same over and over so hopefully you like it but that is it from me today i really do hope you like this video and i'll catch you all in the next one